In this house, every evening is like Halloween. As the sun sets, the crowds gather to see the current residents, because the current occupants don't come out during the day. Inside Science TV. I'm here to see a big cloud of bats. The excitement is building. I heard hawks come down too, trying to like eat the bats. The cameras are aimed and ready. All for this. Oh, that's so pretty. The nightly exodus of 300,000 bats. This is home of the world's largest occupied bat house and bat barn. This is an up-close look inside the two bat buildings built on the University of Florida in Gainesville. Just before they start to emerge, the amount of activity increases. Just after sunset, their flight for food begins. In the evening, they it's estimated that they consume 2.5 billion or 2,500 pounds of insects every night. Insect eating bats uh, can eat over half of their body weight in insects a night. But what you don't know about these creatures of the night might surprise you. Huge fan of bat man, but I don't know too much about bats themselves. Well, the bats that fly out of the bat house, which is the Mexican free-tailed bat, they're not at all related to birds, they're mammals. And some people think that um, bats are flying rodents, but they're actually most closely related to ungulates, which are things like horses and deer. The smallest bat is the bumblebee bat, and it weighs um, two grams, and the largest bat weighs over two and a half pounds, and it has a wingspan of five and a half feet. They're one of the longest lived mammals for their size. So mammals of similar size normally only live three to five years in the wild, but the oldest bat ever caught in the wild was 44 years old. So a bat living 30 years is like a human living to 100. Now, what about all the scary things you hear about bats? I think people associate bats with like um, vampires and like blood feeding, but there are only um, three species of blood feeding bats. Uh, the rest of them feed on insects, fruit, nectar pollen, and some even eat fish and frogs and rodents. In fact, bats are actually pollinators and a natural way to control insects. Insect-eating bats are saving farmers in southern Texas ha over half a million dollars a year, and that is by reducing the insect population and reducing the number of insect sprays that the farmers have to pay for. And what about the saying, blind as a bat? It's actually not true. There's no such thing as a blind bat species. They all have eyes. The ones that don't have very good eyesight use a special type of sonar called echolocation to visualize their surroundings using sound. Echolocation works when the bats emit high-pitched ultrasound that humans cannot hear. They monitor the sound waves that reflect back with their super sensitive ears to locate and eat flying insects. But just remember, they won't use it to track you. Bats are just as afraid of you as you are of them. They're never gonna um, purposely try and hurt you. You can track the bats and see inside the bat house and barn by logging into flmnh.ufl.edu slash bats. Depending on where you live, the best time to see bats is spring through early summer. The days are longer and bats come out sooner after sunset during a longer twilight. I've never seen anything like it. With an up-close look at bats, this is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.